Crews are still working on dismantling this, and that's what I was ready to report to you here right before the 6th, but now it's looking like that story is beginning to change. Sheriff, I want to talk about the evacuations here. I know you'd mentioned there's been a, a couple evacuations that have been happening here over the last couple hours. A number of developments here to tell you about tonight. As you mentioned before, again, police did confirm to me just about five minutes ago that Lars Helgeson has now been captured. Police do indeed tell us this was a high-speed chase that happened here tonight. It all ended, of course, at the Culver's that you see behind me here on Brackett Avenue in Oakland. Claire. Come on over here. You can already see it's piling up on this car right here. And just to sum up for you once again, a lot of big developments here in Jackson County today, especially in the last four hours. And I'll draw your attention behind me here to the Gordon Volunteer Fire Department. We've seen many trucks come in here throughout the course of the day. The big, big thing to see when you come out here tonight and tomorrow, 745, the sauerkraut eating contest. Something I think I'm going to go check out. Maybe not quite partake in, Chris. On the World Wide Web, there's nothing that grabs attention like the unexpected. And so is the case with this dash cam vid showing a Wisconsin state trooper nearly hit and killed by a semi on a traffic stop. They always talk about having um, ice in the back of your head and it's or a sixth sense. Lieutenant Jeff Lorenz has been with the state patrol for 30 years and is not shocked, only relieved the trooper in this video wasn't hurt or killed. He's seen many close calls like this before. And they say, hey, LT, you know, I'm really sorry about the car. I said, man, I can get cars. I can't get you another youth. Wisconsin's move over law requires drivers to change lanes when emergency vehicles are on the side of the highway. While he says fatalities are down, there's still room for improvement. We're much better at this, but we're not, not that, that where we, where we want to be. To get a sense of how powerful this video is, we stopped at this rest stop in Menominee to talk to people. Many of them just got off the interstate and will soon be getting right back on again. Frightening that people don't realize how close they are to other vehicles on the edge of the road and how easy it is to hit them. Seems like a pretty common sense thing to not sideswipe a police car. The video leaving a lasting impression. And that was something. And if it's this image that doesn't do that, perhaps this one will. A memorial to Trooper Debbie McMiniman, Lieutenant Lorenz's colleague, hit and killed by a car during a traffic stop in 1989. She went up to the vehicle to issue the warning and um, on her way back, she was struck and killed by a minivan. Even Lorenz himself says he's been hit five times while in his cruiser, proof that if not careful, your wheels can easily become a deadly weapon. We always enforce you know, being alert for weapons and guns and knives and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for us who uh, patrol high-speed um, interstates or highways, uh, for us it's really all about the traffic. Kevin Hurd, WEAU 13 News. From the sights and sounds of practice, you would think the Kadat Hornets had a whole regular season ahead of them, practicing for weekly matchups, hoping to rack up a bunch of wins and put on a show for fans. Well, with last year, it was canceled halfway through, and that was really heartbreaking. But this year, even more so for Broyden Bowie, who during his senior year will not get to play regular varsity games. Fans who will have to find something else to do on a Friday night. It was mostly just the atmosphere and being walking around the track, meeting everyone, watching the game, and the food, definitely the food. A weekly tradition that brings a school together and bridges connections between a team and a town. There's something about high school football that really brings a town together, especially a town like the size of Kadat. And people I talked to downtown tell me today they're really going to miss that connection this season. Um, I guess it's just a part of going out and being in the community with everybody you know and just enjoy watching your children play. Teresa Miles looks forward to the day she can spend Friday nights watching her son play on the football field, but this story has a silver lining. My whole focus with this whole program is to get these older boys to mentor the younger boys and make this program a whole. The team's new head coach is focused on building the program from the ground up, investing in players when they're young, hoping that work will pay off in the future and they will have varsity football once again. Like the way they're building the program up, it brings the fun back into football for me. So. I know a lot of all the other guys are having fun too. Hunter Rudnick's senior season may not be what he expected, but hopes building younger players up will help restore the program he loves, and Broyden Bowie is hoping the Hornets fly even higher. To see him exceed in the future would be really nice to come back in a few years and watch him have a state championship or something. In Kadat, Kevin Hurd, WEAU 13 News. I if you're looking for a little taste of Germany, oh baby, but want to stay in western Wisconsin, happy Oktoberfest, this is the place to be. That's me with the little shorty pants on there. 
Someday that might be worth a quarter. You'll hear Crazy George and George as they call themselves on their accordions and this is what you'll see. Brats, beer and a lot of German style clothes. They're, they're getting into the spirit and I'm kind of jealous. There's so much to do. Where do you even start? You can't go home without a pretzel or the french fry. You start by asking people like Bonnie Gullickson who's been coming to Oktoberfest since it started 11 years ago. We've been pouring beer for a lot of years. Or you could ask Carol Frederick who's also been to every Oktoberfest and is all about the polka music. Pretty soon we'll be going over there to do some dancing. But if the dance floor isn't your type of thing, Bonnie's got a good point about the food. There's plenty of it. You can even get a bucket of french fries, which at Oktoberfest sounds like a foreign delicacy. You could also come here for some popcorn. Caramel apple is the big seller. And while you're here, take some time to take in the German decor. We um, cut out the letters and then traced them and burned all the letters in by hand. For Brenda Hanley, the details matter. It took time, but it was fun. By this point, if you've worked up quite a thirst, the beer tent is your next stop. We love the beer. <laughs> we love the spot, so. The beer seems to be a hit everywhere you go. I'm drinking orange shandy. Oktoberfest, of course. Three days out of the year. My favorite event in Chippewa Falls, actually. One weekend, a little taste of Germany in Chippewa Falls. Oh, baby, clink them and drink them. Kevin Hurd. Happy Oktoberfest. WEAU 13. News. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kevin Hurd. It sure feels like October outside. Cool temps, clouds, and some rain have been hanging around all day, and it's not over yet. Let's head straight to Fox's meteorologist Matt Hoffman to see what we can expect for the rest of the evening. Hey, Matt. Well, with this week of August heat, the snow and cold of winter is probably the last thing on your mind, but the city of Eau Claire is already talking about changes to its snow removal policy. New information tonight. The man accused of touching women inappropriately at the nail salon where he worked is now charged with sexual assault. Police arrested 25-year-old Kwok Von Bui of Eau Claire Light last month. Well, some good news to report tonight. Yesterday, we told you about a woman with early stages of dementia reported missing from central Wisconsin. Tonight, police say that woman has been found in Marathon County. It'll also feature flatbread sandwiches along with chicken and rice bowls. And boy, I'm getting a little bit hungry right now. Coming up next in sports, Jen Chapman has highlights from the Brewers, Twins, and PGA Tour, plus highlights from the Predators and Express. Well, it is a Pinterest night, and we know since the weather is going going to be heating up, so will your grills. So we found some grill recipes to pin for you tonight. Let's take a look at the ideas. How about a cheese stuffed bacon wrapped hot dog to mix things up? It's gonna say near 90. Got my parents in town. My mama does not like the heat. No, what, so you, gotta, you gotta find a lake, a river, something. But something yeah. to get away from it. As commonplace as internet access might be for most of us here in the US, nearly two thirds of the world's population still doesn't have it. Well, it only happens once a decade. The state of Minnesota auctioning off unclaimed items from safety deposit boxes. Fox's Karen Scullin reports. The entire community of Hudsonville, Michigan is looking to set a world record this weekend. They've set up a huge salad bar, and that's an understatement, stretching <laughs> almost 700 feet long. All the lettuce, cabbage, carrots, and peppers were said to weigh, get this guys, almost 5,000 pounds. The town's going to find out if they've hit a world record tomorrow.